Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today uh, we're gonna learn how to create tables through Bootstrap 3 Twitter Bootstrap 3 people makes it so very easy to work with Bootstrap uh, so hassle free, so painless especially when you're actually working with tables and we're gonna create a table uh, similar to the table that I've created out here let's see how is he is just to uh, do this and there's one important uh, URL that I would want you to go through just in case you would want some extra information that maybe I've not covered in this tutorial that's get bootstrap.com forward slash CSS okay so let's start people I'm gonna uh, use some code and I'm gonna lose some code whatever code I'm gonna lose I'm gonna recreate for you okay so whatever is inside the head of the document is not visible on the web page I'm gonna use it whatever is inside the body of the document I'm gonna lose it okay so I'm gonna delete so I'm gonna uh, you know work from scratch okay so you see everything between the opening and the closing body tags has been removed or lost and uh, I'm gonna use everything inside the head of the document people you can see I'm using uh, sublime text uh, 3 uh, inside which I've created a HTML5 document you see the doc type is uh, HTML5 okay this is uh, these two are meta declarations people important meta declarations especially in line number five which allows you to you know scale up and down properly okay then we have the title of the document which could be anything righto and then we have two link tags and two script tags tying up to CDNs or content delivery networks that point to bootstrap.min.css bootstrap uh, dash theme dot min dot css jquery minified version the latest that is and bootstrap dot min dot js latest so all all uh, latest uh, you know packages or libraries required for the bootstrap 3 front end framework uh, to work to allow us to code hassle free you know uh, and quickly that, that that's what bootstrap actually does allows us to code real quick hassle free okay so let's see how easy it makes us to work with tables so in the opening and the closing body tags people first I'm gonna insert a div with a class of container using code assist uh, plugin or a package as we call it in Emmet Emmet okay let's expand the code now the class container is specific to bootstrap pre-written in bootstrap in build class and that creates a uh, centered fixed width uh, block that becomes responsive once you shrink the block okay inside this division I'm gonna create another division of panel panel and panel primary panel primary is gonna give some color to the panel a bluish kind of a shade let's expand the code okay and panels will have some heading so div with a class of panel dash heading expand the code okay inside the panel heading you know panel heading panel primary panel container these are all pre-written classes inside bootstrap so you know the browser will know how to deal with them although I have not written these classes for you it's already pre-written inbuilt okay let's create a heading for the panel so my table or whatever let's save the document up bring the browser up and at this point if I were to refresh see uh, a panel with some heading that's all cool let's get back and after the panel he panel heading I'm gonna create my table so the table uh, which has a TR which then has uh, TH how many of them let's say into three let's expand the code let's put in something out here tab something out here tab something out here okay and um, yep let's save the document up get the browser up let's refresh and uh, <laughs> you see everything is all uh, clubbed together cramped uh, we're gonna sort that out in a minute so simply by giving my table a class of table again an inbuilt pre-built pre-written class people things will sort out start behaving like a table as we'll soon see so I'm sorted in a minute <sighs> yep 
as you can very clearly see out here next people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach out here I'm gonna expand the table so let's say more TRs containing TDs containing um, how many TDs let's say into 4 no this is not the way I need to do it um, let me just think yeah and the whole thing into 4 in fact this should be this should be 3 into give me a minute into 3 and the whole thing into 4 now how Emmet actually expands the code is something that I'm not gonna cover in this tutorial okay so just tabbing around quickly people filling up some data I think I'm done I'm sorted right oh let's save the document up and bring the browser up let's refresh to see the uh, table yep looking more like a table now okay I'm gonna insert some very important classes to make the table look even better the first one let's say table uh, which I really like is table stripe pre-written class with the uh, let's save yeah great stripe table you see gray and white and gray and white right alternate uh, rows then table dash hover save bring the browser up people and if I were to refresh and if I hover you see the way the background shade changes on a hover okay then I'm gonna say table d o r d e r e d bordered save bring the browser up let's refresh see the borders appear like this you know out here cool I can also use table condensed table table condensed okay that's gonna remove the padding cell padding by half shrink it by half table condense condenses or shrinks in size as expected okay what else can I do I can attach certain specific classes to the TRs and the TDs of the THS let's see how let's say a class of um, class equal to info for example let's save things up bring the browser up and let's refresh see the first row actually change its shade cool you know you could use some other classes to the specific rows and columns like active success warning danger info okay so <coughs> yeah they can be uh, these are contextual classes can be applied to rows or individual cells let's use warning on a cell okay warning on a cell yeah let's say this cell uh, rather this cell class is equal to warning file save bring the browser up and let's refresh okay see the uh, background color change out here so people you see how convenient and hassle free it is to create tables using bootstrap 3 alright so that's it so people I hope you found the information useful please do sub please do like the tutorial I think it deserves a thumbs up and uh, please spread the word around use Facebook Twitter uh, Google Plus etc and uh, share this video people you have a good day bye bye peace